Reuters. A bike on steroids, less money for gas, and assisted exercise. That's the hook for the electric bicycle. The bike has the look of a standard one with two wheels and pedals, but the difference is battery power. Alex Bell from NYC E-Wheels. And it's a lithium battery, so it's very light um, and higher capacity when compared to like automotive batteries, which are lead acid. Um, so which is really nice in terms of charging it. Uh, you can either leave it on the bike and charge it or take it out of the bike uh, up to your apartment. One store owner says baby boomers who haven't been on a bike in 30 years can find this less intimidating. The e-bike is also touted as environmentally friendly and can give greater efficiency when dealing with hills, headwinds, and even help you get to work faster. I think the, really the two things, two kind of customers it's great for is one is kind of the work, the commuter who's going to work. You know, he's got a suit on, he doesn't want to arrive at work, you know, pouring sweat. Uh, he really can't, you, you know, can't do his job like that. So he can use the bike on the way to work using the throttle, almost barely exerting himself. Ed Begley is one user who says the bike is a great asset for getting around without complication. You can be in a suit going to work and get there without sweating because you've got this electric assist. But despite claims of being a great tool... In the U.S., the electric bike hasn't picked up steam like Europe or Asia. Skeptics say demand for the bike is low because for some styles it can take as much as six hours to recharge batteries just to ride for one. Another factor could be price. The price tag on the e-wheels ranges from as low as about $900 to as high as $4,000. Still, the global bike industry is estimated to have total retail sales of $20 billion, making more space for the electric-powered bike foreseeable. I'm Reuters reporter.